So I'm not like a minute away from where I picked up the car and I've already got a couple of warning lights. Hey guys, Matt Brandt here. Today I'm going to pick up my new Golf GTI. It's a Mark V, arguably the best Golf GTI ever. I'm with my friendo, Jacob, and he's driving actually my new long-termer. I've got this thing for, for three months. It's a, it's a Kia Cerato, and we're taking it on the highway to see how it, how it goes. So I'll report back to you, a full review on that soon. But anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for the Golf GTI. So it's been a long journey, and I'll tell you about it a bit later. But essentially, this car is about the cleanest, lowest kilometer manual I wanted that, I did not want the dual clutch GTI, and I got it for an absolute steal, I think. $9,150, so it's that's a, that's a great buy on a car that's only got 137,000 Ks. I am a little bit worried to drive it back because I have to drive it back about 150 kilometers, and it's been sitting around for about five years now because the owner kind of stuck in, in Abu Dhabi uh, because of COVID, but hey, he's lost my gain. <laughs> uh, kill me. Um, <laughs> So, so uh, yeah, no, going to go pick it up. Uh, actually going to go see it first. I haven't seen it in person. I've only seen it on FaceTime. I hope it's not cardboard. Yeah, <laughs> I hope it's not cardboard. All right, we're coming up. Let's right, see if we can see it. It's not that one, is it? You wish we Wait, where the f is it? It's supposed to be up on the right here. I'll just pull up here. Oh, there it is. Wait, where? Oh. Don't scratch the wheels. All right, we're coming up to it. nice we'll have a look inside in a second this is legitimately the first time i'm seeing this car though i don't know man it's pretty clean <laughs> Can't scratch Dude, the, these boy, the seats look great. yeah no apparently they age really well look at that look at that <laughs> gotta pay for it now g'day how you doing good, yeah good that's why i knew as soon as whoever comes have a look Yeah, man, as long as it makes it home, I'm happy, you know? Um, all right, well, let's work out how I can pay you. Yeah. Do you mind if I take it around the block go, really quick? Go, go. Yeah, yeah, cheers. First impressions. Yeah, first first drive in this thing. and I don't know, like, it's pretty clean. Obviously, you probably changed this. Yeah, that's looking a bit grotty, that's, isn't it? Yeah, but that's that's easy enough to change, man. You started up, I was a bit worried that it started up like that, to be honest. Yeah. I'm actually kind of worried, bro. Like I. Filming? Yeah, yeah, it's filming. I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, like, what if I just bought myself the biggest bomb in the world, you Dude, know? you know what? It's possible, <laughs> but we'll find out. So far, it seems... Dude, it seems smooth. Seems smooth. It's a bit cold, so I'm not going to yeah, yeah, thrash don't, don't, it. Yeah. Bro, it's, it drives, like, fine, you know? <laughs> We've got cruise control. That's Sick. nice. A sunroof, I think that's an optional extra. So it's apparently, dude, this is really comfortable. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm like really it. happy, bro. I like it. Oh, you can hear the turbo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bro, this is, this is all right. A smile on my face. I liked it. It's really smooth, dude. And this is actually one of the things that people were saying. It's like, it's an amazing, easy clutch, right? yeah. And it's an amazing like daily. Like it, it, it can be a super easy car just to live with. You oh, hear that? I, I love, I love that. <laughs> Dude, I... I don't think they can hear it, but we can. No, we can hear it. Uh, I want it to warm up, but that's all right. I'll film a bit more of it later anyway. <laughs> Bro, that is Sick. fun. Dude, I'm instantly like, yeah, no no worries at all. Congrats, man. Do you think mom will like it? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these seats are amazing. Like they're, for a 2005 car, this car's 16 years old. It's I'm super nice. I'm really surprised. <laughs> we are on an incline, bro. <laughs> Did I scrape the front? I think mildly. Handbrake's good. <laughs> like it's not rolling. Yep. Like a Toyota. Look at the rear seats in this thing. I'm surprised how good the leather is. Dude, I'm surprised too. Dude, I, this is the uh, first time I'm seeing this car. Oh yeah. These seats are really well bolstered. Like they're still, they're still good, uh, which I'm honestly, I'm pretty surprised by. Yeah, so these used to have like a little bottle holder in here, but this one's obviously missing. Mate, it comes with 
So don't tell them, it's a discount. <laughs> So there's a couple of things whenever you're buying a Mark V GDI as, as you do, but under here, under the under the arches, it can start to get rusted out. Not really an issue in Australia, it's more an issue in overseas markets where it snows and they put salt on the road, but they don't do that in Australia because it's pretty much always hot anyway. And I'm trying to think, underneath here as well, you've got the, I think the cam belt and the water pump, those things need to be changed every like five years or so, and this one would be well overdue, so I've got to be careful when I'm driving it too. But otherwise they're a really solid car because this one does not have the dual clutch. Um, it's got the manual, which is something I wanted. One, because I love manuals, and two, because I just don't want to deal with the hassle of a dual clutch. What do you reckon? Awesome. So the guy who I'm buying this off has a R33 GTR, and it's so clean. Look at it. Look at it. Matt, I've got another 10 grand. If you want to sell this, <laughs> let me know. Look at it. Hey, he doesn't know much about cars, but he knows enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy f this thing is special. Oh, wait, do you want to move the GDI out? Just park it on the street. So the guy I'm buying it off, he's an absolute legend. And he's gonna, he's gonna take us for a drive in it and I'm really stoked. Go on, rev this up a bit. Ooh, crackles and pops. Don't even need a crackle and pop remap on it, hey. Holy. <laughs> Look at it. Quick update on the Serato GT, by the way. It made it absolutely fine. It was really comfortable for going on highway drive. So I'm pretty happy for that. And it wasn't a small drive, that's for sure. Heaps of space. I really like it. Look at the boost gauge. <laughs> oh, f Now, when you showed it to me, like on the FaceTime, I was like, what the f Just got a, just got a f GTR. <laughs> Holy f Yeah, that's what a turbo sounds like, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy sh This is the coolest car I've ever been in. And I mean that. <laughs> Holy f <laughs> Please input your password. Password hit. Stu -du -du -du. <laughs> Mate, what do you think? This thing pulls hard, doesn't it? Like nothing else. Like nothing I've ever been like in. Supra. <laughs> <laughs> the blow off. That's what I want to do to the GDI. Yeah. So I'm not like a minute away from where I picked up the car and I've already got a couple of warning lights. It looks like I've got traction off and the tire inflation. The thing is though that all the tire pressure, I, I, I've, these aren't working to turn it off. So it might already, <laughs> might already have issues, bro. All right, let's, let's turn it off. You know what I need though, now that I've got a Volkswagen? I need a, a diagnostics. <laughs> I need some sort of diagnostics tool, bro, because I'm going to have so many issues with this car. <laughs> I can just guarantee it. All right, well, I guess let's keep going and... Oh, they're gone. <laughs> the lights are gone. <laughs> anyway, but we're in the car. This is like my first proper drive. I'm going to be taking it to my home. <laughs> it's, it's no uh, R33 GTR. <laughs> That car has just ruined everything for me now. Let me tell you though, this thing is quick enough, which is really one of the appeals of this thing. It's a it's a car that can just do absolutely everything, no issues at all. I'm I'm amazed because this is the first time I've driven it. I'm amazed by how comfortable it is and just how well it it just drives in general. <laughs> it definitely has turbo lag but it's a lot of fun. Now, the chassis control on this thing is supposed to be incredible, and I mean, it is to an extent. The issue that I'm having with it is it's on pretty cheap tires, so that's gonna be one of my first modifications to this car, and I guess now's as good a time as any to tell you why I've, I've bought this thing. And it's pretty simple. You guys love the same Yong Chairman video. I love buying weird and wacky cars, and obviously this is not a weird and wacky car, but I've got plans for it. I'm like any good prepubescent little kid. I like to modify things, and I really, I really want to have my first ever project car, but I didn't want to get some piece of 
because so many of these have already been modified and poorly done. I wanted a car that was a clean slate. So this car is low kilometers. It's only done 137,000 kilometers, but it is from 2005, which is right at the beginning of the Golf GDI Mark V life. And you might be wondering, why did I choose a GDI Mark V? Well, I had a few criteria for this project car. One, it had to be a hot hatch. I love hot hatches, you guys know me. I love cars that are practical, but still have a really punchy engine. And, and well, obviously this is that. But I wasn't dead set on a Golf GDI, to be honest. I was actually looking at like a Suzuki Swift Sport because it's got a naturally aspirated engine and they're very reliable, but you can't do many modifications to them. And the one I was looking at, the guy kind of just piss farted me around. The other thing I wanted was a manual because I knew I was buying an older car and I did not want a, a dual clutch from this era because they're just hit or miss. You know, you really have to do proper maintenance on them and a lot of these cars, they just haven't been properly maintained. Let's give this thing some sauce for the first time. <laughs> I'm in love already. And then I started thinking, what is something that you guys would enjoy as well? And then also, what could I sell when it comes time to eventually sell? Because that's one of the things I fear most with my Sangyong Chairman is, well, how am I gonna sell it? <laughs> Who's gonna buy a Sangyong Chairman except for a nuffy like me? The answer is not many people. So I started looking into the GTI because it kind of ticked all of the boxes, but because of this stupid COVID tax going on right now, everyone wants to buy a car. These things were going for stupid, stupid money. You know, a Mark V GTI, 14 grand for like 200,000 kilometers. I was just like, no way. And I didn't want a Mark VI because Mark VI, well, they're generally good cars, but they can also have issues. And then the other thing was that the Mark V is probably the most renowned GTI because yes, the GTI Mark I and Mark II were both incredible cars, but the Mark III and the Mark IV were not very well loved. They just felt like any other Golf. This on the other hand was return to the GTI badge. This thing was a true hot hatch that could do absolutely everything. So I saw this car come up, it had done low kilometers. It had been sitting around for a little while, about five years, but the previous owner, because of COVID was stuck in Abu Dhabi. He's a flight attendant and uh, this was sitting at a, a grandma's house who unfortunately passed away. But the guy selling this was just like, I just want it gone, but I know that these things are, are really coveted. So it's not, it's like 10 grand if you want this car and registration. And I was like, you know what? For 12 month registration, minus 850 bucks, this car is really $9,150 for a six speed manual, low kilometers that's been serviced. I'm, I, you know, I, I don't think I could have done better. And so this car here has become my project car. I've got my first ever project car, something that I have big plans for. I want to wrap it. I want to tune it. I want, I want to be stupid with it because I can. So what I need from you guys is I need you to like this video. I need you to really show it some love because YouTube algorithm is stupid. Apparently now that's, that's the way that a video goes, does well. But share this video with a friend and get this video going because if I can get this video going, then I could justify modifying it, wrapping it, doing all the things I want to do to it and have this series on top of the regular car reviews. Don't worry, every week there will still be a car review. They're not going anywhere. There's only one more thing that I'm doing with this Mark V GTI, and that is introducing it to my beautiful girlfriend, Monique, who absolutely hates when I buy stupid things. <laughs> and she is going to, well, actually, I don't know how she's gonna to react to this. At first, I guarantee you she'll be judgy. It's just her way. But I think once she gets inside of it and, and sees that it's not really nice, she'll like it. The other thing as well is I want to get a custom number plate. So in the comment section below, give me some combinations of number plates that I should get. I've tried source. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist. But let me know in the comments below uh, what I should get. I would, I would love to have something cool. Hopefully, I won't have to update you for the rest of the drive and it will be okay. There will, of course, be a full review coming of this car, my cinematic reviews. So make sure you subscribe for that. And just for all the content that this car is going to provide, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Give it one last bit of sauce. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so I am sincerely worried about this. <laughs> I don't know how she's gonna react. Uh, I hope it's gonna be good. It's a pretty practical car. The only issue is it is manual. She can't drive manual. Hi, Monique. So before we go and have a look at what the car is, what do you think it is? Can I 
also have no idea. I'm expecting something old. Okay. I'm not expecting to like it. Yeah, well, you know, you're just going in there with a negative mindset. You've got to go in there with a positive mindset. It could be the best car you've ever been in. Absolutely not. Okay, but give me a couple of guesses. I, I, I couldn't. Because the, the Sanyong was very left of field. You didn't know I was getting a car at all then, but you know I'm getting a car this time. Yes. Right, well, it's just... Is it... Is it what? Is it the GTI? It is the GTI. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to hear that. So, we have a... What is it? Preliminary approval? Yeah. Okay, there is something with it though. There's a catch. It's not a big catch. It's a manual, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you can finally learn to drive manual. Go I mean, on. I'm not really reacting to it. Like, I'm, 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 yeah. So, the one thing is, though, look at this. Look at the previous. Yeah, oh, no. yeah a little bit. Right, but it's fully optioned. Right. Yeah, so this, you have to use your fingernails to get into, but it's all right. There, there isn't a camera. There isn't sensors. Oh, hang on. Let me let me unlock it using the uh, central unlocking, Nick. Is it, is it a key? Do you know what? I'm not even I'm not even joking when I say this. It is a really nice car. So it's Why? leather, Vienna leather on the interior. Fully That's optioned. So it does have a bit of a bit of a mildewy smell. What do you reckon? Smell? Yeah, it's a bit mildewy or something in here. I don't know. I think that there's been a leak of something at some point. But look at it, look at the seats with GTI on them. They're really nice for a 16 year old car. 16. 2005. But it's still very like modern, right? Of course. Yep. Yep, up there. It's safe. There, there, there. It's actually very safe. Oh, wait, let's turn it on. I what forgot it's not a push button start. Oh, I'm planning on doing a lot to this car, but it's all dependent on my viewers. My viewers. Ooh, it starts up every time. But look, six speed manual. It goes well. You wanna go for a quick spin around the block? The thing with this is that it's like the perfect daily driver. It's incredibly well balanced. And I think you're gonna like it for that because I know you don't like like hard crashy hot hatches or anything like that, but it's actually a very good car to drive. And I'm excited for you to learn manual on this car. Although I am worried about the clutch, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's it's like first first impressions, lay it on me. I mean, it, it's- Come not, on. No, 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 I'm far more accepting of this than the last one. No modifications to it yet because obviously doing that. I'm also thinking about wrapping it. What? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What should I wrap this car in? I'm curious. Yeah, it looks good in the light. It does, but it looks a bit like a sleeper and it looks a bit generic. So I don't know if I want to go for that look or if I want to go for something like outlandish. All right, Monique, you ready for the sauce? It's not. It's a normal car and I'm glad you bloody got a normal car because you had a car that's normal. Monique, I'm gonna make this car the most abnormal car no, there is. No, no, I'm gonna make it cooler by making it faster. Don't do stupid to it. Oh, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna do... Like, don't be a Yeah. I can't promise anything, Monique. I'll do anything for YouTube views. I'm a slut for YouTube views. Corner's really well too. I'd just like to shout out Pocket Rockets, um, future Twitch channel and YouTube channels. Two gals, one Rocket League, am I right? <laughs> Oh look, I'm worried about this, but just keep the shout out. Oh, I just hope it closes because it wasn't closing earlier. Hey. Fuck. No, it did it. Oh my god, thank god, dude. No, it it, it, it like messed up earlier. Oh. Okay, careful. Is that roadworthy? That is roadworthy. Now I gotta. Oh, it's not roadworthy. Click that like button if you want to see me learn how to drive a manual. There you go. Hit that, hit that, smash, smash that like. If we get to 6 million likes on this video, if we get, if we get to 12 million likes on this video, she will learn how to drive manual. So thank you guys very much for watching. It's been a big day, but I've got my new Golf GDI Mark V heaps to come in this series. So if you're new around here, absolutely subscribe. Also, let me know down below what you think of my new purchase. Do you guys support it? And what do you think of the Mark V GDI? If you enjoyed the video, please do like it too, because it just, it really helps out YouTube algorithms and whatnot. So next I'm gonna take the GDI and figure out, well, what's wrong with it? Because it's got a couple of warning lights and, and uh, yeah, there's some things that are well overdue on this car. So it'll be interesting. I'm gonna take it to a Volkswagen specialist. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys very much for watching and ciao for now.